Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. And the markets yesterday were obviously impacted by the terrorist attack in Brussels. You actually have seen a number of uh, hotel companies, travel um, firms, airlines, um, they've been coming off a little bit there as well. They actually sold off more aggressively at the at the height of the of the of the attack and when the fear was going across the news uh, the news items. Uh, but then they kind of recovered a little bit, gapping a little bit lower and then moving slightly higher. So I guess at the moment uh, Europe is a little bit on on edge. Protection for traders is always uh, is always worth considering, especially if you're trading things like the Germany 30 that can have overnight gap risk. If there is any other problems that that arise from this, um, obviously there is a, a bit of an impact on the, on consumers within Europe, uh, and it has a it could have a bit of a longer term impact as tourists begin to fear coming to some of the major European capitals. Uh, it's just a natural, obviously, fear that, that some people might have. Uh, if you take like London, Paris, uh, Brussels, Madrid, um, and all the other major cities there, that there'd be some concerns uh, that there could be um, potential issues in the future. So that's obviously something to be aware of. Uh, you've got guaranteed stop loss orders that are obviously available uh, for selected products, depending on what you're looking to trade as well. Uh, so that's one thing to consider. The British pound took a big hit yesterday as well. Um, this is mainly on the back of uh, the Brit exit debate at the moment. And um, some, some commentators feeling that the Brussels attack yesterday actually increases the, uh, the voice of people who want to leave Europe because for some reason their, their thought process would be, well, if we're part of Europe, there's still terrorism. If we're not part of Europe, then we can be a little bit more um, defensible and we can close our borders and stop migrant flow and everything else. So there, there is an, an idea that there might be a bit of a, a kind of a jump on uh, these attacks for political uh, points winning um, to keep Britain out of Europe in the future. Um, but then there are other, other commentators out there as well who would, of course, think that um, being part of Europe and sharing the intelligence. Obviously, we're going to share intelligence regardless of what happens anyway, um, but it's all about the borders for Europe. That's the big concern at the moment. Um, so I kind of give you a bit of an idea about, about the fundamentals. There's some other crude oil uh, aspects. I actually do have crude oil inventories due out later on today as well, but the fundamentals are still a little bit uh, driven by the, uh, the impact to these multiple attacks we've had over the last couple of months in Europe and uh, how the, uh, the tourist industry, travel industry, etc., will react to that. Okay, so that's things from a fundamental perspective. Let's look at things from a technical perspective. So having a quick look at the US 30, you're going to see there's very little movement yesterday, not much happening uh, there today. 82% of savings markets clients are currently short. We're still in the middle of a couple of ranges. Longer term potential resistance, 79.79. Um, the other technicals are pretty overbought at the moment, uh, but there are little tips of these candles right here indicative of potential support, probably close to about 17.539. Then moving on to the UK 100, 73% of CMC clients are currently short. Um, as you can see, we actually sold off a lot there after the, uh, the attacks came out, but then we managed to recover later on in the session. We're not doing a huge amount today. It did sell off a little bit, but pushed up that little bit higher. Again, we're, we're looking like we're struggling to break above 6,200. Moving on to Japan 225. Uh, 16,896 is the potential support level. Longer term potential resistance, 17,658. 55% of CMC markets clients currently long, but it does look to be that 16,896 could be a, a potential strategic short term support level. And you might oscillate around here for a little while. Then moving on to dollar yen, I think um, the dollar managed to get a little bit of extra uh, shot in the arm uh, yesterday at the expense of the Japanese yen. Uh, we, we are maybe looking at the tips of these candles here as being a potential broken support now acting as potential resistance. You can see the tips of those candles from here and here uh, had been support and then it's broken through the opposite side. Maybe it might provide short term resistance. Um, but to be honest, the dollar yen doesn't get that exciting until we start to see a bigger directional move. Uh, moving on to West Texas crude. Um, again, didn't do much yesterday, not doing much right now, uh, but we'll see what happens with crude oil inventories come out later. Uh, obviously, the, the high point will be this, uh, the tip of this candle right here, around about 40 spot uh, 87. 61% of CNC market clients are currently short, anticipating potentially a move back down to potential uh, support at 37 spot 59. 
Moving on to gold, um, gold moved higher yesterday after the tax and pushed back down again and it's kind of reverse course again at the moment as the US dollar gains further momentum. Uh, gold doesn't get interesting unless we break down below uh, 12.25, which is potential support. The other technicals are relatively neutral. 87% of CMC Marcus clients are currently long. So having a look at the euro, um, the dollar obviously gained a lot of strength. The euro against uh, the US dollar uh, actually moved a little bit higher, but against the, the US dollar, the euro here has come off. Uh, that's four quite uh, decent negative candles. The next potential support, one spot 11. That might be where this could end up. If we continue to see the drift in macro data points this direction, we could move that a little bit lower down towards here. And then if we have a quick look at GBP USD, 58% of CNC market clients are currently short. Um, obviously, the fundamentals behind this uh, are impacted by the events of yesterday. Uh, Brit exit, obviously, a bit is still a, a concern. The thing is, if Britain leaves the Eurozone, um, that's obviously going to have an impact on the Euro as well, to be completely honest. Uh, but it is impacting the strength of the US dollar, of the, of, of the GBP. Uh, and we had, obviously, a negative day on Tuesday and Monday. Uh, it's come off again there on Tuesday. It's even lower this morning, trading below both moving averages with one spot of 41.29 being that potential support level to be aware of. So if we have a quick look at the market calendar and uh, you'll be able to see there, it's the crude oil inventories due later on today and existing home sales. And then Thursday, you've got retail sales, durable goods, employment data. And then Friday, where it's um, bank holiday for most people, we do have GDP for uh, America. And if we fast forward, I'm pretty sure there's not going to be too much on, on the Monday. There's personal consumption in the US and then uh, CCI on the Tuesday. Well, that's it for me right now. Very good luck with your trading and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next. Thank you very much and goodbye.